Welcome to Electron Online and to get a better feel of how we use the Carnot efficiency concept here we have a theoretical engine that let's say it's a gasoline engine let's say that it operates at a hot temperature of 800 K that's the temperature of the hot gas that propels the engine forward or pushes the piston and the temperature of the exhaust gas coming out so from that we can calculate the uh, efficiency the Carnot efficiency the maximum theoretical efficiency that this engine can have and then we're going to use that based upon the amount of heat that's being expelled in every stroke 300 joules uh, what the maximum work is that this engine can do so work max is equal to this is what we're after all right so first let's calculate the Carnot efficiency E sub C is equal to T hot minus T cold divided by T hot and so that would be equal to 800 Kelvin minus T coal which is 400 Kelvin divided by 800 Kelvin which is 400 Kelvin divided by 800 Kelvin which of course you can see is one half one half is equal to 50 percent so that would be the maximum efficiency that this engine can have now if the engineers were able to obtain that maximum efficiency and understanding that the heat expelled to the cold reservoir is 300 joules how much work can we get out of that engine per stroke all right we know that the efficiency is equal to the work divided by q hot and of course we don't know what q hot is we don't know what work is but we know that work can also be expressed in terms of q hot minus q cold so let's do that so work is equal to q hot minus q cold and then we can replace q hot by uh, let's see here if we solve for q hot q hot is equal to work and we bring the q cold across plus q cold and that can then go in here so now we have the efficiency is equal to work divided by work plus q cold now you say well I still can't go any further because I don't know what work is but you do know what the efficiency is you were given the efficiency to be half or 50 percent so let's replace that so this becomes 0 0.5 is equal to work max now since we use the Carnot efficiency we're going to get the maximum work that we could possibly get out of this engine divided by work max plus q cold which was 300 joules so now we have to solve this equation for work max so first thing we do is we cross multiply so we come over here and we have 0 0.5 times work max plus 300 joules is equal to work max all right now we multiply this through get rid of parentheses so 0 0.5 work max plus half of that that would be 150 joules equals work max since we're, work, we're solving for work max we're going to move all the work max variables to the left side so we have 0 0.5 work max minus work max is equal to bring that across get minus 150 joules we combine these so we have minus 0 0.5 work max is equal to minus 150 joules and then if we multiply or no we should divide both sides by minus 0 0.5 divide by minus 0 0.5 this cancels out and so we have work max is equal to and that would be a positive 300 joules so based upon the Carnot efficiency the biggest or the best maximum output we can get for the work would be 300 joules if 300 joules of heat are expelled to the cold reservoir and of course in reality you probably couldn't build an engine to be that efficient so it'll be somewhat less than the 300 joules but that's a good starting point you know it's not going to be more than that or even equal to that because you can violate the second law of thermodynamics and that's how you do that